So that age old question, Tomcat versus Apache, what is the difference? Well, I'm Cameron McKenzie, I'm the editor in chief over at the serverside.com and I wanted to help you answer that question. Uh, first of all, um, one of the things we need to do if we're gonna talk about Apache versus Tomcat is we have to do some disambiguation of the term Apache. Apache is often a phrase used when people mean the Apache HTTP server. And that's exactly what we're talking about here when we compare Tomcat to Apache. Uh, both Tomcat and, and the Apache HTTP server are projects managed by the Apache Software Foundation. Um, so technically Tomcat is Apache Tomcat and the HTTP server, which we sometimes refer to as Apache, is the Apache HTTP server. The confusion stems from the fact that, well, the Apache HTTP server was the very first Apache project and there was a time when the only Apache project was the Apache HTTP server. So for the longest time when people said Apache, they just meant the HTTP server. Now we need to kind of be specific when we use the word Apache um, and be specific about the project. So here we're going to be comparing the Apache Tomcat server to the Apache HTTP server. And so what's the difference between the two? Well, the, the difference is the difference between a file server and a servlet engine. The Apache HTTP server is a file server. So it handles requests over the web, over the HTTP protocol. Uh, and if somebody says, hey, give me this image, or give me this video, or give me this text file, or give me this CSS file, or give me this HTML file, uh, the Apache HTTP server is incredibly efficient at delivering that content to the web-based client. Give me a file, Apache delivers it to the client. That is the core purpose of the Apache HTTP server. And it does that without any logic. Hey, I need a file? Okay, here's the file. There's no logic involved in it. Now contrast that against the Tomcat servlet engine, uh, Apache Tomcat. Uh, Apache Tomcat, it implements the servlet and JSP specification. It requires a JDK, a Java Development Toolkit, in order to run. And when a request comes in, it can perform logic. And that logic could be anything as simple as maybe performing the logic required to play a rock, paper, scissors game. Or it could be the logic involved in authenticating a user and finding out what their username and password is in order to access a back-end resource and subsequently query a database or put something onto a message queue. Um, so if you if your request response cycle, if your website needs that type of logic and it needs to interact with, with back-end resources, Tomcat is the place that you want to do that. And, and Tomcat, when you deploy things to Tomcat, you're deploying web applications in Java, servlets, JSPs, and all of the little pieces of the servlet JSP specification that allow you to do logic in the web tier. Now, in modern enterprise architectures, the Apache HTTP server and Tomcat typically work together. So requests come in initially to the Apache web server. The Apache HTTP server looks to see if it's just a simple file request, and if it is, it sends that file back to the client. If it's a request that requires some logic to be implemented, it'll actually forward the request to Tomcat. Tomcat will look at that request and figure out what type of logic needs to be performed. It could just be Java logic that could be quickly performed through a servlet or a JSP, or it might require interacting with a backend database or a message queue or uh, an email server. Uh, in, in that case, Tomcat will take care of doing that. It'll finish up all of its business. It'll send its response back to the HTTP server and then the Apache HTTP server will package everything up and send it back to the client. Um, and that's referred to as a three-tier architecture. Your Apache HTTP server acts as the interface with the client, so it's the client tier. Uh, for logic, Apache Tomcat takes over, that's referred to as the middle tier, and then all of your databases and message queues and, and external resources those are referred to as the back-end tier, the third tier in that modern enterprise architecture. That's all known as the three-tier architecture, which is very common. 
And so there you go. That's the difference between Tomcat and Apache. Essentially, the Tomcat server, Apache Tomcat server, it's a servlet engine, runs Java, performs logic, implements the servlet and JSPI spec. The Apache web server, it's primarily logicless, although you can install PHP plugins and stuff like that. But its real purpose is just to serve up files directly to the client.